Harden. What a slam, what a move. This conference is full of star big men. I think Derek, I would put him up with any of them. Derek is a guy who flies under the radar a little bit, but if you watch us, you know, you know his value. Going into my freshman year, I had a couple seniors in front of me, Joey Van Zegren and Alex Ola, and Coach Collins presented, you know, the opportunity of redshirting to me. Unfortunately, both of the big guys got injured, and Coach is like, you know, we have to burn your red shirt. The freshman in just his second collegiate game. Derek just, you know, went off for 28 and 12, and one of my best friends, Glenn Watson, is on the team, and he's asking me, like, who is this dude? Like, he wasn't even our scout, and, you know, and I think from there on out, he was on everybody's scout. 65-65. The Northwestern Wildcats trying to make their first ever NCAA tournament. 1.7 to go in a tie game. Taphorn heaves it down the floor. Got it. Part of the catch, puts it up. Yes! yes! Wildcats yes! win! Wildcats win! Derek Harden and the Wildcats have beat Michigan! In the Michigan game my sophomore year, I feel like it changed me in the sense of knowing my impact I had on people. A lot of people, you know, reached out to me, even alumni saying that that was the best time I've ever had in my life. And hearing that is just surreal in itself to think that, you know, me scoring a Bassey can uh, affect somebody who graduated here 30 years ago. Going through that and then playing in a tournament, playing very well, I think those experiences build your confidence. It's been fun to kind of watch that evolution from you know young guy fitting in, energy player to now becoming the heart and soul of our team. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland is home. Is everything that I know. I feel like Cleveland isn't represented how it should be. So that's something I try to take pride in. Everybody from Cleveland. They got fighting. You know, the mistake on the leg, oh, you from Cleveland. That, that's all you hear. Derek comes from a hardworking, you know, blue collar family. They've had to work for everything they get. My dad is a truck driver, has been driving trucks for over 20 years. My mom, she's a support rep. She's been working for over 25 years. And uh, they're just hardworking people. They've taught him the values of life, which is working hard keeping your nose to the ground and pushing for more in your life. Derek is one of those guys who I always call him like show me guys. He's the type of guy who he won't tell you what he's gonna do, he won't tell you how he's gonna do it, but he's just gonna go out and do it. That obviously comes from his family. My parents don't really get to a lot of games because of their work schedules. Depending on the schedule, it's usually my husband, me, and his mom. We're there, we get our snacks, screaming at the TV, and you know, just cheering him on. We're just so proud of him. That's right, Derek, just stay right in front. Here's Northwestern and Pardon's first look at it. He gets the soft touch. Pardon with the flush. This is a danger zone for Northwestern. They need to stop here. Baker and another oh. lob to Torsten. Rucker survives on the road. We have a number of guys on our team that are his closest friends that are from Chicago. That's kind of been his second family. This, this, this is my second mama right here, mama ass. Yes, my baby. Look. To be able to have that home away from home, I think is has meant a lot to him here at Northwestern.